Hello guys, I am Inshad. Uh, today I am talking about the topic is ST1. You know guys, what is ST1? Why it is important today network? As you know, technologies are growing, networks are on automation stage. Hence, ST1 play important role in your one management. In legacy network, you have to be login every your C router to do the configuration. But in ST1 network, you can manage everything from single system. So that is the controller job. That is the main advantage of ST1 network. Just compare your legacy network. You have to be configured with each and every devices. Like if you have to go pen branches, you have to be do configuration each router. Okay. So, but in ST1, there are many pre-built configuration. You just to add and modify from single system, like a single controller. You can do all the things. You can easily manage, configure, and monitor the your advantages. That is the importance. That the advantage you get from the ST1 network. So ST1 hierarchy of controller system, your transport and advantages. Let's talk about the controllers. Let's talk about the controllers. So the hierarchy, just I will explain again. The hierarchy have three part, as I told you. This is your controllers, your transport, your uh, vanages. This is the most, this is the, the hierarchy of ST1 network. So let's go with the responsibility each uh, control is. First we are talking about the V manage. V manage, same like name, V manage is the management plane of your ST1 network. It will manage and configure your all managers from single devices or single uh, control system. That is the advantage of this one. So it will participate to your configuration, monitoring and managing your different devices. So second is vSmart. vSmart like a smart devices. It will, it is your, it, it manage your control plane. It's responsibility to manage your routing path. It use on protocol called OMB, or relay management protocol. So same like your BGP route reflector, how BGP route reflector works, same like this, vSmart is working. So it's use OMB instead of BGP. So he is the decision maker of routing. So all branch will send and receive the route to vManage. Another device is vBond. vBond is your, it is bonding your network. It's an authenticator. It's bond between your managers to control system. How it works? You know, they are using same like your uh, radius or technicals. How it will work? It's an authenticator of your network. So you have to be logging through. First, you have to be logging to radius server. Once it authenticates, then it can enter the network. Same way, how one is registering to log, go into your network. Same way, when the one is just want to connect to your uh, controller system, first you have to be authenticated. The authentication through certified system. Once it authenticated, you have to be that we put the registration key, like your serial number, token number, or OTP, the same like it depends on the device type. So if you are using uh, cloud system, it's like a different type of serial keys. So it is a first time only. If you don't you don't want to do it all time again, first time you have to be do the steps for V bond. Once the van is just registered with your V bond, you are in the controller system network. So what about your data pen? How will it work? Data planes are between one edges to one edges. From one branch to another branch, all data plane is going through the one one edges. The controller controller system will not participate on it on, on this. So let's we go to some communication. How is the communication system will work? So one more thing I have to be tell you the transport. The transport is used to connect between your one edges to another one edges. Same like how your uh, uh, MBLS and internet work to your uh, service enterprise network. This can, you follow the connectivity, same way here. Your one edges are your edge device where your MBLS or internet is terminating. From here, you are connecting to another one edges. So 
The same way, all branch you have to be used. One is just either you want to use two or single like this, depending on your uh, design of the network. So let's talk about the how the communication will happen between these devices. So that is like how the communication is happen. So a system, sorry, they use uh, DTLS tunnel. There are uh, it is by default. Uh, DTLS tunnel is creating tunnel between three devices. Once you register with the V-bone, all, all one edges uh, create a permanent tunnel with your V-smart, V-bone, and V-manage. So each tunnel have different purpose. So this is the detail tunnel. You, want to, you don't want to configure manually, it will do automatic. So that's why the control assistant one is many things done by automatic. You don't want to do anything manually, like your IP set tunnel, BFT, ONB routing, all this done by automatic. You have to be enabled some function only. Just click, only click button only. You have to be do some clicks. Then your network will be set up. Your communication will work. Then your traffic can go through one location to another without overhead. So this will help you for easy management, monitoring. Uh, conferring your network. So you want to know the more detail about the ST1 network. I have the full class. You can contact me on the number which I show in the headline. So you can contact me on this number. I will give you the full class detail how the ST1 implementation is working, how we can deploy the ST1 network, there are how we can do traffic engineering, policy routing, application hour routing, how you can configure templates. This all major portion will cover on the ST1 implementation. Hope you guys enjoy. So if you need more detail, you can contact me on the WhatsApp number.